Raycasting is an essential part of 3JS and graphics programming in general. It's the best way to determine what your mouse is pointing to in a 3D scene. Now, the best way to understand what you can do with raycasting is to just go to the 3JS examples section and search for raycast. Here you'll see a ton of different examples. Another more complex application of raycasting is to take user input and place blocks on a screen. This is pretty useful if you're ever trying to build a Minecraft clone in JavaScript. This technique is pretty much essential for building scenes in 3D. In today's video, we'll go over everything you need to know to get started with raycasting in 3JS. Let's jump right in. By now, you guys should be familiar with how to set up 3JS with React and add a simple little normal box to the 3D scene. So the next step is to just create a set of box meshes in a 3x3 cube. This is the scene that we're going to use to test our Raycaster. We can do this by creating a helper function to generate box meshes and change the position based on the passed in XYZ coordinate. Now that we have our basic test case scene set up, let's jump into the Raycaster code. First, we'll need to initialize a raycaster and a 2D vector, which can be used to keep track of the mouse. Then we can set up a new window event listener on mouse move. And inside of this function, we'll update the 2D vector with the mouse coordinates. We also need to set up the raycaster with the pointer information and the camera from our test scene. And now we can get the intersecting objects. As I hover over each of these box meshes, you should see in the console right over here that something is getting displayed and that is the intersecting objects. Now, the interesting thing here is that if I, for example, hover over this one right over here, you're going to see three objects being highlighted. And that is because the Raycaster is going through every single one of these box meshes. Just to sort of clarify this, as I hover on this right now, we're only intersecting the first box inside of this row. But as I keep going like this, you'll see that now we're intersecting two boxes and finally we're intersecting all three boxes. So basically Raycaster just goes through everything. So now that we can track the intersecting objects, we can easily change the color of them in a for loop. All the meshes that are intersecting with the Raycaster get changed to red. So for example, if I put my mouse over here, then all the possible ones behind this box should also get turned to red. And of course, as I sort of rotate around, you're going to see that wherever the ray is getting cast, all the boxes are going to be turned to red. But in most cases, we're just going to want to select the first intersecting box in the Raycaster. And that's pretty simple as well. Just remove the for loop and add an if statement instead, where you just change the color of the first intersecting box. As I hover over this, the boxes behind this one are not getting changed to red. But if I hover over the red, this one, then it's going to get changed to red. Same goes here. The boxes behind are not turning to red until I hover over them. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. Hopefully now you guys have a better understanding of raycasting in 3JS. If you made it this far, then I'd really appreciate it if you could just hit the like button and consider subscribing for more suboptimal content about 3JS and 3D programming. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.